Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Black Ops 3 In-Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Killakuta class, which was recommended to me by a subscriber, but I'm pretty sure is inspired by the competitive gamer Killa because it features Long Barrel and several other things that are common in competitive Call of Duty. The gameplay is going to be from the map Redwood, which is played so infrequently it might as well be a secret map at this point, and then we're going to swap over to a full gameplay, which I feel showcases all of the strengths and some of the weaknesses of this class, so you'll get to see me fail a little bit after slaughtering people here. So let's see who recommended it. It was from UK Rapids, and in short, it's the Cuda Quick Draw Stock Long Barrel Fast Mags, no secondaries or tacticals, Afterburner, Scavenger, and Blast Suppressor, and he wants me to use Vision Pulse with it. In game, I know that was very fast, it looks basically like this. He also recommended that I use Sweat Matter Camo, which I do have equipped, and you'll note I have a lot of attachments on the gun, which is again Quick Draw. These so you can aim down sights fast, stock for sidestepping, long barrel for additional range, and fast max so you can reload faster. In the attachment category, we're rocking afterburner, which is great, scavenger, which I'll talk about later, and blast suppressor, thank goodness, it's the first time I've had blast suppressor in a while, and our wild cards are primary gunfighter 1 and 2. That leaves no room for tacticals, lethals, or anything like that, or a secondary, but that's okay because a lot of people play that way. So, first things first, the CUDA is an excellent weapon that's on par with the VMP and the M8A7. When it comes to the competitive scene or Black Ops 3 in general, pretty much everybody considers the VMP to be god tier and the M8A7 to be god tier depending on your ability to aim with it, and the CUDA is kind of like a lesser inferior baby SMG. I disagree. I think the CUDA is an all-around excellent rough-and-tumble SMG that works great in a lot of situations, and it was my first love in this game. It was the first gun that I got really good with, the first one that I mastered, and the first one that I recommended to all of you, so I was very happy to be able to use the CUDA again. All of the attachments for this weapon are good. They may not be optimized for public matches because it's pretty clear to me that this is a match, uh, a class for competitive matches, but they're all very good. You can't complain about quick draw, that's faster ADS. Stock on SMGs is really good so you can move around corners and corner check really fast. Long barrel really is more of a competitive match thing because it allows you to out edge your components in gunfights when you're likely to be using the same gun. You want to give yourself every single leg up possible and you definitely don't want to be taking any sort of disadvantages, or is this not as useful in public matches because everybody's going to be using crazy stuff. And Fast Mags is, again, not bad for public matches, but that's all about the competitive scene. I'm going to recommend a slight change to Fast Mags to something different later on, but, you know, Fast Mags is nice. It certainly is comfortable and it certainly does feel good. I have no complaints whatsoever about Afterburner or Blast Suppressor because I run both of them on most of my classes. Afterburner allows me to be bouncy and jump around a lot and I never fall off the map. I've always got extra juice for sliding into people and wall running and Blast Suppressor, of course, so that my boosts don't make too much noise and so that I don't ping the minimap when I'm boosting because I just uh, that just drives me bananas. And again, I kill everybody that I see pinging that minimap. Vision Pulse is actually awesome for Team Deathmatch and Search and Destroy. It's probably the overall strongest ability for Search and Destroy, and it's really good in TDM. I'm going to say it's underused a little bit in general. It's kind of a shame. It's very strong. A lot of people just really like those lethal special abilities, though. They like blowing people up. Vision Pulse, unfortunately, is not a show but is definitely very, very valuable. Now, this is where we're getting into some of the things I don't like about the class, most notably Scavenger. I do not feel that Scavenger fits this class. I totally get how it fits in other classes, and I love having unlimited ammo and grenades and stuff. We don't even have grenades on this class. But when I have Scavenger, I can't sprint into combat because without fast hands, I'm not able to aim down sights and react and shoot fast enough to be competitive with the shotguns and other SMGs and kind of the way that I'm used to playing. So Scavenger, I don't feel is a very good fit for this class. Also, the CUDA doesn't really require a lot of ammo to kill people, so you don't burn that much ammo, and you have no tacticals or lethals to refill, so it really seems wasted, and I'm going to recommend changing that later. But most notably, it feels strange to have a submachine gun, but not be able to play that aggressive with it. This class is really designed to be walking into combat or ADS corner checking all the time, and you'll see that in my TDM gameplay. It took me a game or two for this to like click and for me to learn it, but instead of like sprinting in, going balls to the wall with your SMG, fast reaction, hip fire kind of thing. You need to sprint to where you're going to go, stop, and then aim down sights and corner check everybody, or be wall running, which kind of, it's kind of crazy. You can aim down sights really fast when wall running or sliding around the corner. You can do equally fast, but sprinting into combat is going to be a big, big no-no with this class because the sprint delay will get you killed very often. The class has no tacticals, no lethals, and no secondary weapon. That means no anti-aircraft, no pistol fallback, no funny knife or anything like that. I can't stun check 
check, I can't flash check, I can't throw smoke grenades, and I can't blow anybody up. And this is not ideal, but a lot, a lot of people play this way, and I know that. I often don't run a secondary, and a lot of my classes may just have a stun grenade instead of a frag or anything like that. But it is a little bit frustrating, and it definitely is a weakness. As I mentioned before, the attachments are very good in competitive, but not always great in pubs. You don't necessarily need fast mags or stock or long barrel as much in pubs as much as you do quick draw, but they are quite good, and it does give you a really good feel for the weapon. So now it's time for me to recommend my changes for this class to how to make it better, and they're actually pretty simple changes that I think that UK Rapids is really going to enjoy. Suggested change number one is we are going to be dropping Scavenger and taking fast hands. This is going to allow us to sprint into combat if we want to, and it's going to allow us to pick up weapons and do things faster with our hands, but mostly it's just all about reducing that sprint out time. The less sprint out time we have, the more aggressive we can get with the submachine gun, and the more people that we're able to kill. It's going to give you more options instead of just ADS corner checking everybody. Now when we remove scavenger, that means that our ammo concerns go way way up. Previously with scavenger it was like unlimited ammo, now we're not going to have as much, so I'm going to recommend changing out fast fast mags for extended mags, because with extended mags that'll increase your base ammo supply and it'll allow you to spray people longer, and that's kind of what you want in public matches so that you can get like bigger feeds and hose people down. And while I do think that fast mags is probably a little bit more competitive than extended mags in a lot of circumstances, extended mags is going to kind of fill that ammo capacity gap left behind from dropping scavenger. So by making these two changes, you can be a lot more aggressive with the class, you can rush and sprint a lot more, and your ammo concerns are basically nil because you'll be running extended mags instead of fast mags. Well guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And also, if you want to submit a class, all you have to do is leave a comment with your full class and maybe a little bit of description on how to use it and I'll be picking a random one for the next video. The previous class review was on the Hank Hill copyrighted shotgun spam class, which was a tremendously fun episode to make. And the next episode, of course, will be another subscriber class. Drifter out.